Okay, welcome back to Stray Blade, this brand new beautiful indie game. It's a Souls-like, kind of like Fable. And I've been enjoying it from uh, Point Blank Games based out of Germany. Really got some depth to it, like 25 hours. Now normally, you play these kind of indie games, especially Souls-like, and you've got, you know, one or two bosses, five tops, and then you're done. Some of them even is just a boss rush mode, but they've decided to make something much, much bigger. Huge big world. Actually surprised the hell out of me. I'm slightly addicted to it. Alright. Nice. Lots of weapons to master. You got a parry system. Lots of really cool enemies. I ended up playing it early. And I was on an old build. And we had the devs come in going like. Hey dude you're playing an older build. <laughs> so once we uh, fix that up. We're all good to go. Bow, bow, bow. All right, stray blade. The thing I, I feel bad for them. Every time you look it up, all you end up getting is uh, that's game stray. So it's a bit. It's always tough. What do you do in those cases? You know, you make your name too unusual. No one will find your game. Nice. So we're repping the Irish here. We've got a nice little Irish cloak going on. I seen they introduced a new character in Apex Pyro. Um, is he something like is it something like Sekiro or something where you can get back up? Yeah, that trailer has this awesome side in it. I, I, you know, I love my sides. All right, so enemies just like in normal Souls, like enemies come back when you die and all that, but you don't heal at your bonfire. It's a little bit different. You've got plenty of kick-ass weapons as well. Check out this hammer I just unlocked. <laughs> Some weapons have shields, but you can pretty much like block with any weapon. You got your roll, you got a nice jump. All the inner workings. I've been saying it reminds me of Fable a lot. Damn! I forget about those flowers. And the map is uh, quite cleverly split up into areas that kind of join up later. And you find little pieces on mosaics and murals. And it, it fills in part of the map. You can see we've a little bit done so far. I'm probably about a third of the way through maybe. It's hard to tell, you know. All depends on your speed and how much you want. But each area has like a 100% list that you can do. That all pertains to trophies. So if you're uh, someone who loves completing map completion and things like that. You'd be right at home. Here we go. So these are the guys. These these life shrines. Stay here for a while. We've got our, our lovable little fennec fox friend. Called Farron. Look at this. Oh no, Farron is the main character. He's called the uh, Bougie. He's, he's he's well voice acted. So this is Careful. It certainly is. Only she would present himself in such an overdrawn way. Ooh, that might be the final boss. He seems so powerful. Can you imagine what one could do with so much power? Careful. Yes, I can more than imagine it. What would you do with such power? Maybe we'll have a morality choice. I don't know, but I finally would be someone. someone that Most indie games don't have voice person. acting, or if they do, it's not great. And this has been surprisingly be well. There's a nice little motion there. Actually reminds me of a uh, couple of people. No rules that I would have to follow. And if the rules are for the good of everyone? <laughs> You've never seen the world outside, right? There are no rules like that. Never were. Everybody just lives for themselves. Is that so? I believe I need some time to think, Farron. Alone. Uh-oh. What? Boji? What's that about? Boji. Of course. Just leave. So we're trapped on this giant That's island. What everyone does in the end. Until we can destroy. But it's my fault, as always. All these beasts. Uh, some people that expect you to drop everything to come help them and then you wouldn't do shit if you're stranded in desert. Yeah, it wouldn't piss on you if you're on fire, exactly. I see that a lot. Are you going through that right now? Yeah, open inventory while in danger. I think it's probably because of these plants are trying to attack me. Oh, maybe? See, yeah, these murals you gotta keep an eye out for. Um. Yeah, the UI and menu system looks a little basic just because there's not really much of a background or anything. But trust me, it's got a surprising lot of depth to it. Obviously, you've got your weapons there. 
and your armor lots of different parts of armor they all have uh, all of their different values that you can min max and then you can customize every little piece all the way down from you to your swords which is nice you collect the dies from secret areas uh, and then blueprints is where you make your your weapons and armor and the skill tree this is like one of the most surprising parts of the game so far it's been insane so a lot of your basic skills are down there then you get the later skills and each one of them seems to be connected to the weapons you don't have to use the weapon to get it but once you complete the mastery it opens up an attribute connected to the weapon and you can unlock it then but you can switch your weapon at any time so if you think about it and then up here there seems to be a magic system going on but we haven't been introduced to that yet and then boji has his own skills and um, but obviously he's pissed so he's run off now i haven't been able to do anything with that and you got your journal for your quests and your glossary for all your enemies all beautifully crafted it's it's really well done good for them this seems to be their so first souls like and first game of this uh magnitude and, and it seems like they've, they've nailed it it kind of came at a perfect time for me i need that kind of indie indie game scratch that itch it's super nice always cool to see the devs pop in as well Oh, shit. I guess we can't open that without Boji. Yeah, we're gonna have to go find him. We don't got into him. Nice job on the mural. And it's kind of clever by using the murals. It allows us to fill in the map, which makes sense, right? Boji's the one that grabs us and brings us back. I don't know if we can go back this way, can we? Oh, oh fuck. Oh, maybe we just have to go through that door. It looks very ominous, though. Fuck it. Oh, it's actually I didn't know it was elevator. Cool. I don't know what these are, but it does have a little bit of a Metroidvania where we're going to have a certain powers. These seem to be like two portals that connect to each other. Maybe we can grapple between them. Maybe we can do so I'm not too sure. We'll find out. Take the elevator to Heaven's Climb Temple to get the Golden this. Palace. Not without Boji. Yes. Boji. So it's kind of funny. When I started playing the controls and a lot of the UI was very different in an old build. But uh, when I updated, I fucking I realized how nice how much I was missing. Yeah, this butcher knife I have it pretty upgraded and it's good to go. It's been making the game a little bit of easier. I'll show you how the hammer works. I guess we're going in here. I doubt you'd make that jump. No. No elevator here. Purposely designed so you can't make it. Yes. Could have our first world boss. There's lots of mini bosses around as well. <laughs> Only Boji can craft their own stain. So the hammer, of course, is slow, but has the added benefit of being able to knock them on their ass. Which is very nice. Okay, AI got a bit confused there. Did he also die? Don't think he died. So yeah, the hammer, obviously, most heavy weapons, it's like high reward, but slow timing. Um, tries to get me to come to the city to show her where she's going because she's not used to the city. Google Maps, for fuck's sake. Yeah, that's true, that's true. I've only ever been screwed over by a uh, sat-nav or Google Maps like twice, and that was because it was early days for those things, like the old Garmin's. You know, you just have to buy a separate system to put into your car, so it'll tell you where to go, and now it's all done through phones. I wonder whatever happened to Garmin. The, the arse must have fell out of the business once the phones started doing it. Um, but yeah, it's only ever led me like wrong twice. One time it just led me into a housing estate instead of uh, a road, which was like, fuck, who cares? Probably not the first time. You know, it's not like it hasn't led me into a lake or something. Yeah, here's the guy who just fell down and busted his ass. Come on, bitch! Yeah, so some weapons have a shield. You don't really have a choice in that matter. So it does kind of... Uh, Oh, this, these guys suck ass. Was it that stupid spin move? Nice. I got some moves myself, bitch. And how the heals work is because you don't get your health back at the trees, you know, it's just a, a really just a checkpoint. You uh, can heal by collecting these hard berries that are dotted around everywhere. There's more than enough. And you can also get them off enemies, but make sure that you're not full up. You know, you start obviously with one. I think the max in the game is five, which is pretty small actually. Like, most games have 10 heals, and some of them, like Dark Souls 3, goes up to, like, 25. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty much everywhere. 
There's also a party system, which I'm not great at, but I've done it a couple of times. Kind of prefer just to chill. Do, do the blocking and aggressive attacking. Wouldn't be a game without some spiders. Looks like Sur Survivor will have some spiders as well. There is backstabbing in the game as well, which is nice. Definitely worth it. I think uh, it should have its uh, launch sale still on for a little bit anyway. Nice. Let's see. Leather. Sincilla. Oh, it makes noise now. Bing. There has been a couple of updates. But I haven't found performance or anything an issue. It's an indie Souls like and it's their first Souls like. So, you know, there's a little bit of jank with uh, hitboxes and that, you see. But nothing you can't get past and in some cases exploit you know which I like these kind of games reminds me of like, fable kingdoms of Amalur even a little dreadfall if you like your dreadfall from spiders people remember that game I played which was like uh, it's from spiders they made uh, it's like a steampunk French Revolution it was called steel rising people shot all over that I had the time of my life it was really cool some of the level design was a little obtuse, but that's the souls like for you, you know, you open up shortcuts and you get a little bit lost and then you come back and you, f you know the place better. That's li literal level design, but anyway, I don't know why, people are really, really pissy, really judgmental about games these days. I guess it's like with less money for them, so they have to be really choosy, which just seems a bit odd to rip into a game, especially in the days of review bombing, but no damn reason if if metacritic changed the review bombing just over horizon burning shores after countless games being review bombed I, that's kind of shitty and weirdly favoritism bullshit apparently like microsoft and a lot of people are super pissed at the uk right now because of uh, the cma not allowing um microsoft to purchase they're the only thing holding them back will allow them to purchase uh activision They've said, of all the reasons, it wasn't because of uh, competition, it wasn't because of Call of Duty, it wasn't even because of Sony giving them the old brown envelope underneath the table. It's actually because they think that it would uh, create an unfair cloud gaming marketplace. Who the fuck is using cloud gaming? Like, to the point of changing your, you know, your views on gaming. Now, people have done the, uh, the maths, and currently... The cloud gaming marketplace is valued at 1.8 billion, which is still okay. It's not like some games, one alone, you know, AAA games make about that. Uh, the GTAs and the God of Wars, you know. So it's, if you think about it like that, it's nothing. But um, yeah, the entire game marketplace, you know, the gaming industry itself is worth probably a couple of trillion now at this point. If not many hundreds of billions. So we're talking about fraction so it does seem like a cop-out and if anything it's gonna hurt the UK marketplace because these big corporations we know that they're they're uh, they run and manage billions of dollars every day but they're run by children so something like this Sony's the same they might not forget about it you know the kind of way they might be like all right we just won't release Call of Duty in the UK anymore and it's like huh that, that that could happen that literally could happen as stupid as that sounds money left on the table it doesn't matter to these companies because they would rather hold a grudge and punish these companies. Wow, oh, seems so silly. I, I, the whole thing is just this could be useful, bullshit. Right? I'm so sick of hearing about it. I really am. I don't care either way anymore. It affects me not. I don't give a fuck. Have the company, don't have the company. Play the games, don't play the games. I don't give a fuck. Because whatever you do, don't listen to the internet because these same people are the ones that wow what a reach they shit all over you know blizzard for diablo immortal and now they're like just sucking the titty waiting for diablo 4 so if you if you learn something new it's the fucking internet as they never forget but also immediately forget as well they don't give a fuck. If it's a game they like, they don't give a fuck. People, the, the old thing of like buying with your wallet doesn't mean shit, I don't think, anymore. 
I just play what I'm excited for. Get the fuck off the internet and just enjoy my life. Because you chronically online just leaves you with chronic fucking mental illness. Keyboard warriors. Oh yeah, baby! You just said no. I'm gonna travel into the city to give a personal tour. Yeah, that seemed a bit odd. Oh, who's this? Uh-oh. Well, there goes everything. And is it like a closed city to you? Do you know it? She might have been like sneakily asking for a date, but you never know. Sheesh. Promise the latest. P2W DLC people shouldn't buy Call of Duty and also have been shitty. Yeah, oh yeah. They're all the same, aren't they? Like, I couldn't believe Capcom released microtransactions for Resident Evil 4. The game's selling buckets. It's a great game. It stands on its own. You need more money? Like, fuck that shit. That's that was poor form of Capcom. They've always had some form of DLC cosmetic stuff. And we're cool with that. You, you came but back. now it's they're Never selling currency. Left. And it's fucked up. That's where I draw the line. Do not sell currency like in said, the fucking game. I just some time alone. Stop doing that but shit. Why? After what I... It's a fucking $70 game. If you're not enough of my money, you bastards. The sage believed... That's the side of Capcom I worry about. They're still there, you know? They're doing everything right. But there's a little fucker, whoever works there at marketing or wherever he is, who is still the same Capcom, but they chopped and changed that fucking Street Fighter 4 and 5 and fucked around with Resident Evil, chopping up Revelations 2 into episodes to try and squeeze money out of people. Fuck that shit. Yeah, you're home sitting. Okay, okay. People want dates, they should just ask for dates. No one does that anymore, dude. It's always nonsense. No, no one's straightforward. If there was more honest people, man, we wouldn't be in the sh fucking shithole we're in right now. Alright. These are the same people who buy FIFA. Yeah, it's true. It is true. There's a, a huge amount of people who just buy Call of Duty and FIFA every year. And on the other side, you've got like people, you know, in America that would just buy Madden in Call of Duty. Or NBA, whatever. Or, or wrestler fans, you know? It's like, we all know that the WWE games have been complete trash for nearly 10 years. Like, the latest one is actually really good, but it's been trash. Fucking trash. Uh, but they still do it, man. They eat that shit up. Nom, nom, nom. Just eat it up. Because uh, same people who complain are the ones that are the ones causing the fucking trouble. Alright, so we finally get some Boji attacks. He's got his own cooldown. He's got his own little help. And the first one, of course, is the Arcane Blast. Now, I fuck with this. Um, Alright. There still is a couple of bugs in the UI, which is unfortunate. Every time I level up, I would... There we go, now it's fixed. All right. Call boys, you attack one of your enemies with this ability to affect poise damage during combat engagements. So we got 10% poise damage, which is the little bar below them, which allows you to do really nice takedowns and executions. We got synergy cost, which must be his build-up bar. And then we have bigger area of effect. Okay. We have lots of lore points because we've been collecting them and just know where to spend them. These up here are rune stones which you can attach to your weapons which give you some cool stuff. One of them even sounds like a blood bomb and you get health back. But they break. They do break. But you can add, uh, by putting lore stones into them, you can add the limit of uh, how many slots. So when you first get it, see the way they're three? So you get three hits or, or three uses and then it breaks. Then you bring it up to five and then finally... Uh, 10 or is it even 10 is it 9 yeah it looks like it's 9 okay yeah it's tough it's tough to read people pyro for sure but i don't know it could have been a nice day out but you know like you said these, these people this is the person you were trying to get to play apex for like weeks if not months exciting exciting so were you guys here yesterday this. and people said I, I look like hugh mcgregor what do you think of that pyro as a scotsman yourself what do you think? Is that the most disgusting display of idiocracy you've ever seen? I, and that was not the first person to say that, by the way. That's the second person who said... Oh. He's gone and used it on that guy. Uh, synergy's resource, boys' combat. Restore synergy by hitting enemies with your weapon. Nice. Bonk goes the weasel. Yo, sometimes the block just straight up doesn't work. So that's why I go heavy on the grass. Pleased to meet you! Hope you die. Let's try this out. Oh, I don't have enough synergy yet, do I know? Okay. Yeah, this guy's fucking insane. Whoopoosh! 
Damn, he doesn't give a fuck. Oh, I completely missed. What a disaster. Zane. You getting lit the fuck up now? You change weapon for me? Thank you. Thank you. These guys are pretty tough anyway. But you can do the old classic circle strafe into a nice backstab. If it would just pop off. Man. Damn. Hello? Is there a hitbox there at all? Don't. Sit on my blade, bitch. He's floating for a bit, for a bit there. Nice. I could see a minor resemblance, but not enough. Right? Yes. N not a hope. But I, I don't see it as a... Is it a bad thing? No, Ma Mouse once said that I look like John Foster. I'm like, who? And then I pulled off a picture of John Foster. And that scared the shit out of me. Because I, I had like a identity crisis. It's weird. So I'm not one of these people who dresses like anyone. Or tries to look like anyone. Half the time I fucking hate my own haircut. That was one of those weird moments. Be careful. Be careful. Don't worry. I won't die so easily again. Especially again? now that you fight with me. Aww. Show them what you've got, Boji. Yeah, Boji. Get him. That didn't do a whole lot, Boji. Didn't even stun him. I, I would prefer a stun. And you guys gonna drop? Thank you. Nice. Sometimes they'll drop a hard bag. There you go. I can I drop two? Yeah, we gotta find out what this power is to teleport between those two. It's a nice game. Runs well, looks good. Scratches that Dragon Age, Fable. All them. Just all the names. Any Dragon Age fans out there? Dragon Age is a funny game. I loved the first one. Second one was a disaster. It was rushed and they reused models and everything. It was really bad. And the third one, I honestly didn't get to play. And I want to play it. Dragon Age Inquisition. Didn't get to play it because Witcher 3 just absorbed my whole life. Became like the thing that I just lived inside of it, you know? People started to smell like Geralt. Mmm. New Oh the Toilet by Geralt of Rivia. It smells good. It smells real good. He puts a little bit of griffin blood in there. Puts a little bit of whiskey in there. It's grease. It's grease. Of course there's a shitload of archers. I think there is big world bosses in this. So we'll have to find someone. These archers can eat a bag of dicks. How does one eat a bag of dicks? Let's ask this prick. Where you going? You only have two moves, which is push the crab crossbow on me, and then back up and shoot an arrow. Well done. Damn, this is a big whore. Who there? Who there? Damn, that block does not work. Damn. I'm trying to pick that up. Thank you. I'm having a little issue here. Oh no, it's locking onto that random thing in the back there. No. You dodge at the right time. Get some of your stamina back. Ah, oh, damn, you're a heifer. Is that you making that noise? Stomp. See ya. Off with your head. So is there anything cool you guys are wanting to pick up this year? Anyone going for like a Steam Deck or possibly a, a different handheld? Or any cool item, a new PC, record player, brand new car, a ball bra, like anything cool you're thinking of wanting to pick up this year? I know money is hard, but even John Foster, I see it, but it's not dead on. But one picture it is, the one time only, I swear. Nope. Just holding on to what little money you have. A few games, maybe. We're all the same. Did they try? They tried to strangle me with like a five hundred euro uh, ESB bill. I'm like, yeah, okay. You think I'm running like a fucking illegal betting office in my house? Like, what the fuck? What would generate one of those call centers or something? What would generate that kind of fucking energy? 
At this point, I'd rather just turn the whole stream room into a giant hamster wheel and just generate my own energy. Take that, Windmilch. Whee! You're streaming while you're running around in cycles. I don't know what I ever did with those, those photos. Look at this. Look at this fucking photo. Look at this one. Look at the size of that. It's a tiny little photo. There you go. I don't even know who this guy is. Look at that. It's, it's insane. Insane resemblance. Jesus. At one time. At one time. Picking up some ball bags. You better. You said you were going to go back. Why didn't you, uh, why didn't you go back with your friend and get some ball bags? Imagine that, like, I, I need a lift into town and get some ball bags. In blue, you're supposed to parry, but I ain't gonna fucking parry. See, I'm blocking the whole way of the tree. You might as well be shagging a duck. Eat it. A lot of enemies now. Sheesh. What we need is... I don't even know this is the right way. We did open something up, right? Oh, wow. We need a shortcut. We need some healed. There's the hard berries. There's also some forges around. Maybe some. Maybe some shortcuts. Yeah, so sad about the hard berries. They do a good job. It's a nice little map. Now, there will be other areas. This is mainly just the first area. I have seen deserts, and I think I saw some ice as well. The usual biomes. I don't know why that uh, subtitle is stuck down the bottom, but yeah, it is a couple of bugs. There is a couple of bugs. I had one where every time I leveled up, it would just have the stats of the first weapon in my inventory. For no reason. Let's get rid of this little punk first. If he's gonna do me the honor of just running up. Every weapon has a different backstab and execution. God damn is this one. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Might save up me points for another one. Cause uh means fine. It's just for a big arcane blast as they call it. I was half expecting little more oomph. Like he's obviously got three other skills. What else? More poise damage. 15%. That costs two. Hmm. Not really digging that, honestly. Try and aggro these one at a time if possible. These guys suck. Yeah, go get the ball bag, exactly. Show you where to go, but I need to run some rounds first. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute when I get me ball bags. You just like me saying the word ball bags. Don't lie. Finally, it's coming to Fortnite. Finally, a map with no sand. It's so coarse and it gets everywhere. Everywhere? Everywhere. Oh, Padme, won't you clean the sand off my balls? That's, that's what he knew she was the one, you know? And she licked the sand off his ball bags. See, it doesn't really provide that much of an opening or anything. Nice. Yeah, well, obviously with the butcher knife, you've got, like, the worst range in the game. But is that really a big deal when it is the fastest? Not strongest, but super fast. So for the aggressive fighter like me, it's perfect. 
I was supposed to go much further. Let's pass through anyway. I think I've killed enough of you punks. Let's just see what's on the other side of this. Into the Golden Palace. Okay. Where's the gold part? Big feckin' wide open area but not it. I like the crafting too. Boji helps you out. He jumps on uh, the little... What do they call those things? The little wind blower. The thing you use to cool down the metal. Yeah, bring her in when she can help you pick a bar back. Yes, we did it! <laughs> what a thrill! You can say that again. You really have a knack for fighting, you know? Well, Jealous. the world outside is harsh. But without you... She sounds like that Ellen one from... Leave that cell, so outside Xbox. Thank you. And I suppose anyone I from that part of England probably sounds the I same. Said about you and Eric. I accept your apology, Farah. Wow. Then, you want to renew our partnership, but this time for real. No secrets, no ill feelings, no doubts. Really? You think it'll work? <laughs> we just bumped heads until now. Yes. In time, I'll tell you everything. And I'll put my trust in you. But you'll have to try and trust me as well. If we both try our best, I believe we'll manage. All right. Great, then let's go. Tezu and his go. are waiting for us. And on the way, you will learn everything you desire to. I don't like the sound of that. Maybe there's things I don't want to learn. Okay, guess we're going down that way. Nothing else over there, I don't think. So it doesn't heal you at all. It's a checkpoint. And that's all it is. It's kind of wild, huh? So when you die, he has to drag your carcass back to the spot. It's kind of funny, actually. Like, he makes a big deal out of it. Where are you running off? Little porcupine squirrel? Ow! Nice. Enemies cleared. So usually what that means, what I've noticed anyway, is when you do that and you get enemies cleared to show up, it means that uh, they won't come back even if you die and save and resave and all that. So there is a way to sort of forcefully get every enemy. Oh, this is back where we started. So that's why I did enemy cleared. We're just on the far side of where we were earlier. We might get a new power though. Let's see, what are you? Yeah, bone dust is important. Looks like we're going to get new power. I was wondering what was over here. Cool! Some kind of claw or wings or something. Talk to me, Boji. Blueprint quest and twinge. Okay. Yeah, I think I can replicate this. But new small. weapon. But they seem important. Hey, I'm not that small. Oh, so you could wield this. No. These are some of the giants. <clears throat> Fall damage isn't so bad. It was bad before the update. It's funny, I felt bad like it's nice to see the devs come in. They were like, hey, can you please update the game? <laughs> You're playing old build. Oh, you dirty bastard. Sounds about right for me, though. I didn't find nothing wrong with the game or anything, but it probably didn't have, like, cutscenes or voice work. You never know. He's always helping us out, telling us where to go. Oh, I didn't even see you there, buddy. We'll go up here. Something back here. Lots of little traps and stuff around, so you gotta watch yourself. I think that's what he was doing in here. How is he mid-attack when I'm off the screen? You goofball. How would you even know where I was? Boji Boji. Oh, there's the mor the mural. The moral. It's good to get those. They're kinda well hidden. For fuck's sake, how is he always mid attack when I go down there? There we go. Golden Palace. How the fuck? Well, you're not coming back up. 
suits you, sir. That'll open up that part of the map. It's kind of cool. A nice little reward for exploring. Let's see. And this is a shortcut. Uh, he will make the plant grow. I think, I think there's a blacksmith over there. Oh, bollocks. There we go. I want to make those new weapons. It looks like uh, twin blades or shock chakrams or something. Mm. This looks familiar. Haven't we gone through here already? But something's changed. Yes. Ready now to tell me the reason why you want to see Ere? Yes, since that is what it means to be partners. Is she away for something? All these humans here in the valley, they aren't good for this place. They destroy everything, both nature and buildings. Damn. They fight and kill every day you were little shit they're even doing here they bring the valley out of balance there was a barrier around the valley that hid it from the outside but yeah the new well not new the the old smg back is nice when you got too close to the spire the barrier seems to have been destroyed what kind of it said like mythic force weapons and bring back peace to my home people were talking about a lightsaber as a harvesting tool telling you is that a thing already? Don't worry. I wouldn't consider myself particularly close to those of my kind. Besides, temples of such beauty, they deserve to be treated with respect. Those who don't follow that can be booted out. Mm. <laughs> if you're already impressed by the temples now, you should have seen them back in the days when Tezuth was still ruling. They were probably in a much better shape. But for me, it is enough to see them like this. Better shape? <laughs> sure, let's call it that. When you seek out the mini bosses and fight them, uh, it upgrades you, the berries to give you more health when you heal. Which you know how much I love uh, optional bosses. So, like, that's just a no brainer for me. The thing with the berries is they do regrow, but I'm not really sure what the prerequisite is to make them grow, because sometimes it's just time. Sometimes it's eggs and out of the game. I don't know. Because they'll just stay like that. But they will regrow. I just don't know what caused them. But she's right. Like, it does change. Well, even when I went back through an area after killing a boss, uh, I noticed that these bastards had moved in the golden order. Nice. I hate that move that he does. Push. This guy has no clue that both of his friends are dead. Alright, yeah, you usually have to clear a place out before you can use a forge. I think I know where I am, all right? Smack dab in the middle of the start of this area, right? Sheesh! That's where we're heading. And these little blips on the map, they usually pertain to uh, secrets and things we can't do yet. I want to invest and get in on the ball bags. On the ball bags! Are you going to invest in ball bags when you've got like a, a million dollar investment waiting for you? In the bald bra. What the hell, dude? You traitor? You turning coat already? Hey. God damn it. From business partner to rival. Well, ball bags have been around since the dawn of time. There's nothing new about them. Same day, different ball bag. But bald bras, that's new. That's it's cool. It's exciting. It's comforting. It's fashion wear for your ball sack. It's never been done before. I'm telling you, you should get in on the ground floor. Should I set you down for five grand? As, as a starting investment? You're welcome. Me ball bags. Get these fuckers in the ball bags, you know. See, can I sneakily go for the blacksmith? Lads, 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 come on now. I'm trying to do a bit of crafting. She doesn't give you enough time to attack. What is the point of blocking if it never blocks? 
explain yourself? Or die? Hello? That was definitely a backstab. Eat it! So to get the mastery of the weapons, obviously pretty self-explanatory, you gotta m use them. How does this work? Wait a minute. Didn't he say I could use those? Maybe I just... He used to make smaller ones himself. What happened to... Said bring them to... What? I don't see them. Must be special weapons or something. Let's see. No, they didn't even show up here. So how does this work? And oh, they did show up. Look, they're over here. How do I make them? Crescent Twins. Look, they seem to get an additional berry slot. And then another thing, which is the Intium ability. I don't know. I guess that's story related for now. How do I make those? I don't see them there. Am I blind? It's got to be story based. Dude, I went back to this fucking blacksmith for nothing. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, huh? Um, why not both? True, monopolize ball clothing. Nice. Hey, I'm not gonna call it ball clothing. Like, come on, dude. Come on. You gotta put some fancy bullshit twist on it to let all the guppies buy it. Something like ball wear. Um, I don't know. Genital comfort. The new wave in genital comfort. <laughs> genital aware. It's not bad. That's not bad. That one's a maybe. Ball fro comfort. The monkey on your back is the latest trend. Don't see what anyone sees about anyone. You little sneaky bastard right behind me. Dude, tomorrow's gonna be fucking awesome. We are just gonna go ham on Jedi Survivor. Everybody will. It's gonna be like a mullet, mullet speed run. Seems to be the right way, right? The, the fastest person to get the mullet. I didn't know that's what you did. I just thought you slammed your tail. Look at the aggro on this little dude. I just see damage numbers on myself. Sneaky bastard. He's got some cool moves. Eat shit and die. Note hard bears. There's a little stuttery whatever happened. Maybe I fucked something up. Alright, fine. We gotta be close now. Look at this. So, these giant... I mean, Elisine. Who were they? Ball breakers give your balls a break. Nice. That's actually really good. But, unfortunately, the first thing you think of is someone breaking your balls. Oh, you're breaking my balls, man. You're breaking my balls. We don't want any harm to come to the balls, not even heightened temperatures, which trust me was just a weird glitch we found in R&D, it won't happen again. We want those balls air cooled. We're trying to get like, trying to get Dove involved, we're trying to get a lot of these, we're trying to get Lynx Africa involved. Because this is going to cut down on so much ball sweat. <laughs> The Akreans and the LSN got along well. What happened then? Nice. Let's go, Mrs. We're gonna make this work. You guys can come in down in the, on the ground floor. The very base of the balls. Can open up those doors we couldn't before. It seems like that's kind of where they want us to go back to. Before our faithful friend had a freak out.
Lots of traps everywhere, huh? Yeah. We have windbreakers. Yeah, but you're only like breaking wind. Why did they call that? And, like, are you supposed to fart on the jacket or in and around the jacket? I never was really 100% sure about that one. So I just farted all over just to make sure. What do you do, you know? It didn't even. Like, usually I read the instructions wrong, but these didn't even come with instructions. Just fucking farted all over. It meant for a bad day because North Face just became Fart Face. Fucking Fart Face! Ugh. Ball leisure wear. Ball, yeah, ball wear. Why does it call it leisure instead of leisure? It's like route and route all over again. Not gonna lie. Just wanted to punch the wall on that one. I pretty much nearly have this completely filled out. Just cool. Definitely like a third or half way through the game. Is this not somewhere we've been before? Just gotta keep an eye out for the pictures in the wall. I was definitely here before. Let's explore a bit. You don't have to hurry, right? Fuck off. <clears throat> yeah, I'll do it just for the uh Hard bears. I'm yeah, starting to hiccup a little bit. Hiccup, hiccup. I ain't got time for this shit. Onwards. I do feel a boss battle within me. That's what I wanted to do. I thought the next room would have had one. Ball, ball breakers. I like the ball, Brad. Or like, was there, was there something initially wrong with that idea? Just men having a problem wearing bras. It's not full on brazier or anything like that. Ball bra. Braffy balls. Ball bra. Gives you a little bit of emotional support. Holy shit, remember when this guy was a boss? He used to be a boss. Damn. Very little ways of getting out of a hit. The yeah, old backstab isn't working as well as it looks. Those guys are like fucking mini bosses, I swear. Let me guess. New armor, eagle shoulder. Cool. Eagle! Keep an eye out. Oh. Just the same elevator from earlier. I guarantee it. No, why does it lock onto those? Dirty bastard. Locks onto something like fucking miles away. Ooh. Lich down. Lich down. Okay. You're telling me there's a tree back this way. I wonder why I shit the bed. Let me see. Maybe just me, you know. Sometimes you can get off one game that's a certain frame rate and then move over to another one. It can really fuck with your eyes. That kind of brings on motion sickness. But sometimes it's fine too. It could be just me. A little hiccup. Hiccup, hiccup. 
They don't mess around with the old uh, start screen there. Uh. Dude, whatever we do with these ball bras, we gotta make like a gaming chair around them as well so we can just slot our balls into them. These, these chairs, man, I think I've gone through like four chairs. I fucking hate them all. I find that the more I spend on chairs, the less comfortable I am. How is that possible? At least by finding these artifacts, means I haven't been here before. How did they do that? Tells me I can't open this guy. You dirty bastard. There's definitely something behind it. Is this for something? There's gotta be a purpose here. We go over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't want you to do that. Don't scare me now. That's pretty. Seems like another big shortcut. Bones intact, check. No blood, check. Common sense, meh. Yeah. We can't use these yet, it's something else. We have to forge a bridge or something. Who needs common sense? Overrated. This is called the shadows. Oh, cool, are these buildings. This must be way westerly. Yep. You might have to go around this way anyway. So you search a way into the area behind the stag gate. I'm thinking this is the right way. Fuck it. We use the shadows. Those huts. Yep. I think I saw them when walking over a bridge before. Didn't they belong to the Elysine, right? Indeed. This is where the Acreans lived. Very Jack and Daxter. They themselves to build giant temples for Tezuth. They always built their homes out of clay because they were scared that otherwise a spirit might get caught in the walls. <laughs> what a stupid idea. Ah, is it though? You've already seen spirits captured in smaller stones. And if they are, they can't return into the flux. Not without help. It's just what if the it's murals... hard to believe that such things exist. Paintings, what up there? I suppose I've people. seen enough to start trusting in it. You're fucking better. You can pick male or female. I don't know what the male's voice acting's like, but I've been enjoying the uh, female's voice acting. She's a little, little snarky, but not annoying. Traps and nasty plants everywhere. Speak of the devil. There's the mural. That'll open things up. Nice. Only a small part of it, though. I've walked by these a lot. Get them! Or lose your titles. Get them. Who gets them? I'm like stuck on that vine. Stuck on the vine. Ready again to fight. You don't want to pull too much aggro. Some of them are set up where they. Just multiple aggros anyway. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Little fucker had to escape. Ah, the block is not worth it. Wow. I don't think I don't think I've had a successful block yet. Might be something got to do with like heavy versus light shields or something. But shouldn't it do something? Dang. Nice. 
<laughs> what, 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 what are you talking about? What you talking about? What's this guy blocking? What's everybody talking about? That's supposed to be a block! Fucking wank stain! What is the point? I don't get that. So you just always get it? What a fucking joke! Fuck you, you big walking lump of metal. You gonna stand there and just let you do the same thing over and over again? No, I'm good. Yeah, I know. Whatever happened to that guy? Dude, it was like 90% of those sketches from Little Britain back then. Just couldn't do now. That's shocking. It's half of them not even that old. Ten or eight years old. That's how fast things move. Oh, I could add this to my collection. No, you can't, but you just shut the fuck up and pick it up. Screw them up. Do -do -do. Any new music out you guys are liking or anything? A little tune reminded me of something. Oh, look at this place. Look at this place. Yep, yeah, definitely going the right way. Oh, fuck. You will regret entering Your lands? Are you having a fucking laugh? What are the chances that I'll regret entering your lands? I use this. Not while there's an. Oh my god! Is my stamina? Ugh. Damn. Nice, I know you get up here. I don't think you're supposed to. It's enough for them buggering tits around, I'll tell you that much. Thanks, Farron. Farron! You're just making up. Conversations in your head now. Oh. You're, now. You're like Bernie now. Bernie will come in and just start to ask a question or answer a question. I'm like, huh? What happened? Especially like from a, as a streamer, you're like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yes. There you go. Nailed this. All right. Is these guys any better? Oh, look. Apparently, I'm able to access this no matter what. Oh, it's completely buggered. This. Couldn't lock onto him. Get wrecked. You son of a bitch. You knew exactly what you were doing. How could you? Let's go. Alright, Boji. I've lost the plus. Now it all makes sense. So is is she pissy with you now? But she didn't go into town? With feeling. With feeling. Okay, quench it. You have to figure out how we uh Lost his finger. Not bad. Not bad at all. Is it better than what we have? I'm getting your hopes up. No, it's not. We better energy efficiency with this. The armor is the same. Unless that's a bug. I wish there was a compare feature, but what can you do? They're all shite. Then all of these are not too fussed. Wonder why I won't let me make the new weapon. Must be story related. Usually, if it shows up here, there has to be a way. I'm thinking these are all special weapons. Almost like boss weapons. 
I don't know, probably. Yeah. So hold the grudge. We have to make things right. I'm just gonna stand here, hold the fucking shield, see that they actually block. Something's pissing me off. What do we do? Level up! We got a new weapon tower shield and spear. Nice. Not afraid to put things off the beaten path. Which I like. Went from very much losing that entire fight. Kicking some serious fucking ass. Any normal game you start jumping in the background like that, it's over. You're as good as dead. That guy's so pissed that I didn't fight him. Boohoo. I got time for your bullshit. That makes this level pretty fucking high. It's a very Jack and Dex, huh? I like that. I wish that series wasn't so dead. It was caught. Whatever it is about the fucking subtitles of the soldiers, it keeps getting stuck on screen. Yeah, Jack and Daxter got caught right smack dab in the middle of the turning of the century. Everything had to be serious, dark, and edgy. I still like Jack 2. Jack 2 Renegade. But it's no doubt that it kind of broke the series forever. Renegade, Renegade. Ah, yes. Turn and circle the fuck shit. I'll be right with you. Just gonna slaughter your friend right in front of you. Damn. Woo, that was kind of cool. And of course, he didn't even get hurt at all there. Little shite. That was kind of cool. Glad didn't kill me. I'll take a, an awesome hit like that. He, said, he talked about his general or something as well, so I'm assuming there's multiple bosses. Damn. That's new. Fucking hate that move. Some healthy noises right there, jeez. Want me to go that way? I'm going this way. Just try and stop me, bitch. Smells like it's burning. Reasonable reaction. It's all it takes to fall out and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel it. The high wall. Can fucking tea. Hit this. Oh, that looks nice. Let's this is all for a shortcut. The things we do. What an enchanting view. Possibly a mini-boss. Hello, is anyone down here? Poor little spider's like, we got him, we got him. Not quite. I need one tiny bit of stamina. I 
just didn't have it. I think I'm like accidentally going the right way. Is that even possible? Sounds like me. Close gate. This is just a shortcut. On the other side, remember that door we couldn't get through? That was it. Only good soup is lentil. No, I'm a minestrone man myself. But I will say this, right? People go ape shit for chicken noodle soup. Oh, it's the broth of life. It'll help you when you're sick. You do this. I fucking hate chicken noodle soup. I fucking hate that shit. It's fucking watery piss with a big layer of fucking grease and oil up the top of it. No. I also don't like any cream of whatever soup. But I've, I've had a lot of those, like, packeted soups and all that, like, you know. Does that make sense? Look, we're getting another big fucking sword. Can I have that? Plesh. Oh, come on. It's such a cool sword. Come on. Can I get up here? Damn, I want that big fucking sword. That's some end game stuff right there. Yeah. You haven't soup that way. The cheap way, basically. You get what you pay for. God, where the fuck am I right now? It's gotta be the right way. I'm trying to keep... I'm trying to keep me old hard jewels up. Such a fucking douchebag. Guess we do run into a boss. I believe we are soon there. In the place where the general sleeps. Should I look forward to it? Uh, fear would probably be the more appropriate reaction, but I value and salute your calmness. I have to say, though, don't share it. Scared? Well, as a small wolf like me should be, yes. I still don't think that he's a wolf. I don't have to fight it. True. Thanks for the reminder. Always a pleasure. A bridge? Yo, thank you, dude. I was expecting a bridge, it's usually a little vine down. A lentil with strips of bacon cut up, yes. Yes, bacon makes everything better. See, at that point you're like, fuck it, just give me bacon soup. If I ever, like bacon is my go-to if I ever need something extra. Just a little something something. That, jalapenos, and I love uh, scallions or spring onions, whichever. It's the fast travel. Onion, onion. Okay. Let's see. Let me go in there. I don't know why the fucking map resets every time, but there you go. Shouldn't it reset to me? Just gotta find a way in there. Look at all the traps in here. You wish to die? Silly spider. You dumbass. You got hit by the flower. Where are you going? Oh, he is confused. He's confused about life. Yeah, I got, look at that little bastard, little sneaky. I, I got confused with the, the mushrooms are teleporters and don't do anything. Oh, why is there vines there? I smell a secret, but is it one that I can do right now? I don't think so. See the way these are connected? Something got to do with the portals. Looks like we can get up here. I don't think we can get back down. Let's see what the map says. It would say, like, unknown secrets. You're somewhere where you kind of shouldn't be. Doesn't look like it would lead to a death. Let's see. Oh, fuck me, Cyrus. I gotta find a way to open that 
power somewhere, but I think it's story related. See? Ah. Thought that one might be just activated for free. Now, how are we going to get back up here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, scary olds. Yeah, I should have went down there. I should have went down there. Mmm. Your little extra's kidney beans. Yeah, oh, hell yeah. They're so good. They're better than baked beans. Your jalapeno guy. Yeah, so for me, it's always the kick. I like the kick, you know? So I know bacon's not like a kick or anything, but it has just that beautiful, distinct taste, especially if it's smoked. All right, that was the last thing it gave us a save for. Fair enough. Don't know if it actually Save this. Oh, it did. Didn't seem to be a purpose for this yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what level of Metroidvania we got going on with some of the little powers. Ready again to fight. Oh, this way for. The boss. Let's go. Hello there. Oh. Try following me now. Lots of lower points. Just don't know if any of it's worth it. Just look, at, you'll like this. just look at my points I have. Cost three to do that. Hey, Farron, you'll like this. Hey, Farron. I was about to say I was at a dead end. Hope this is the right way. Oh, yeah, this looks good. Sheesh. The cradle. So that's the general down there. He neither looks alive nor kicking. Mm. I don't mind hacking on it, but you made this fight sound like a challenge. <laughs> cocky, cocky. Would certainly be an option, though sadly not very effective. I think I've probably eaten too many jalapenos. To, you barely get a kick out of them. A lot of times you get them in a jar. And they'll be in there. Until I awaken. Brine or, or pickled in some pickle juice, and it really Are you ready? knocks the spice out. It may be your Sucks. duty, but for me, there is no other choice in this matter, Brigid. Okay. I won't be. So that's the boss down there. Obviously, he's not woke up yet. Looks like you can kind of go down that way, and then there's a save there. Is this the way they want you to go? No, that's a lower stone. Might be a thing where they just throw you off the edge. Definitely got it's one of those trees that he can make grow. No, nope. it's definitely got um, ashen, ashen vibes too. I know I throw out a lot of games, but it's nice. Every day that goes by, I see more and more devs where it's like, "We're opening a new studio. We used to work on this, this, and this game." That's kind of cool. All right, let's see. Yeah, I think we've all, all but fucking filled out this entire. This one seems to be done, even though it barely looks filled out. This one's the only one we missed was that. Shall find in my own time. And we might require the new power to do that. Let's get down there and save. Take on first of the big bosses. Of how many, I don't know there is. We've taken on some mini bosses. Mini a big old spider. Named the brood mother. Alright. Like I said, it doesn't it doesn't heal you. Just gives you a checkpoint. So make sure you come and equipped. When it comes to these boss fights. Three out of three so far. Here we go. First big world boss fight. Got some heart. 
stuff if you need it. Okay. Let's get a look at the battlefield. Massive, massive battlefield. That's a sign of things to come. What is this thing in the middle here? Go bowl or something? Hello? Oh, that's the stag? Oh, the Intium stag. Looks like it's in bits. Here we go. Careful now, Boji. Oh, damn. Whoa. The resurrection. Jesus, could you have any more antlers? No, he's got. He had. <laughs> That's funny. Hello, are you gonna move? So you're the general, huh? that do? Damn. Fucking whale on him, huh? That's not doing anything to him. I'm using Boji's attack and it didn't do nothing. Why is he doing that so far away? Okay, so far he's not really doing anything. Come on, dude, you gotta do something else besides that. I thought he would fire stuff at me. Maybe he has a second round or something. Is that it? I'm not sure what happened there. Okay. Cool looking boss. And there's the flash. Cool. L1 and Y. Okay, okay, cool. I guess that was it for him. Damn. Don't know what to say about that. I don't know if it glitched out or what. He kept doing the same move, but miles and miles away. I thought he was going to shoot things at me. Whoops. Alright. So we did that, and then... Cool. Oh, no way. Look at that. Wow. I wish I didn't say that all the time. That's pretty badass. Our first of our new powers. Fucking cool. Nice effect on it as well. I know it might sound like uh, a bad thing, but trust me, it's not. It gives me such a great uh, 360 era vibe, this game. Like, just exactly what I want. The old hack and slash adventure games. That's why it just immediately screams like Fable, Kingdoms of Amalur. It's exactly what I needed. I know people are obsessed with realistic graphics, but just to give me give me high fantasy any day of the week. That's why I get into games for for escapism. If I wanted to see uber realistic games of people shooting each other, I turn on the fucking news, you know. That's not what I want. Dude, it's so I thought it'd be like a cooldown or something. It's not. It's wonderful. Once you lock on to it. You could potentially use that in combat. Alright, friend. That light GG's. That entered me. It changed me, didn't it? <sighs> different. Like I'm drawn into many directions at the same time. I do honestly think that because my playthrough is ha a small part of it is from the old build and then I updated. I think it's been playing a little bit of haywire with the game. I can only give Not in performance guess, wise, just things like that. Feel drawn oh. to every There's the boss that looked like he was shy about tree moves. On one of those floating elements. Aye. Can you feel something? I can. Yes, I do. Can no, we go back and get that sword? Use your power. Draw on that feeling you described. I don't know. Draw. Draw on it. I will. Badass. 
We get through here now. Ooh, it opened for us. Through the arena gates. Golden Palace from the fireside. What a shape, you said? Better shape, yes. This shouldn't even be possible. Is it as impossible as a talking wolf? What you see now are glimpses into the glory of Tezuth's era. Beautiful, isn't it? I suppose Tezuth was that arrogant for a reason. We continue now to his palace, right? The one you first guided me to? Correct. It seems like a game that a lot of people are interested in, but didn't really want to pick up, which is unfortunate. What the fuck Instagram. is that thing? It was like... If you talk about this little guy, he's a little fennec fox wolf. But the other thing was like a big stag. I mean, how often do you get the chance to walk over flying ruins? Yes. I want to go back and get that sword. Well, a bit of training with your new ability certainly won't hurt. And I can't deny, I'm also curious what wonders Tezus might have hidden here. I just need to know how to make those. They, they seem like special. The return back to the entrance of the temple. Of Tesut in Homecoming. Yeah, so a lot of people have been kind of checking out the, the stream, the videos, stuff like that. I think they're just curious, but afraid to put the money down. You got to get on the other side. If I can do cool falls and jumps, I will. Nice. A golden palace. It, it gives you the vibe that this is where you're spending like most of the game, but uh, trust me, it's not. Like we have other maps. We have other maps down here, and I've seen deserty and and uh, ice places. So the the game is a is a monster, it's a beast, which is very good. Cool. I get down there somehow. That's just one power we've unlocked. Seems to be at least two more that I can tell. One is a magma stone lift thing that you burst out of the ground. And then the other one is that green emerald bridge that I fall through. So that's as far as I can tell so far. So far as I can tell. That's about it. Let's we'll see. Check it out. God, that's cool. Which sword? There was like a big sword that had these teleporters up. It was like a f it was flashing and shit. It looked fucking cool. It's like you can get down there. You just have to be brave. Clench fists. Turn the page on the day and walk away. Because the sense you would have say I'm 45th generation Roman. Careful! Oh, she almost ran off the edge. Gotta be careful with that. So when they connect like that, the camera will try and make it easier for you and lock on to the next available portal. But if you're a dumbass like me and keep pushing the forward key, or in this case the analog stick, you'll fucking run off the fucking edge. Fucking. Alright. I think this is back across, yeah, there's the mushroom, but that, you know what that means? That means you're actually close. I didn't even get, I, he didn't hit me once, and I didn't have to use a heal once. I don't know what happened with that boss. I think he was missing about three moves. I feel bad. Also, they did that thing where they load his animation in the cutscene and then load it again. And in the same time he finishes his animation, I slaughter the shit. See, look, there used to be monsters. Now these guys take over. The wagons move in. It's kind of cool. I know it's a small little difference. To me, it, it makes a difference. It makes the world feel alive. I think this sword was up here. But you see this thing was like crackling and smoldering and shit. And then I seen two little twin blades as well. I don't know how to make those yet. I think it's really cool. 90% of your upgrades... Even your own personal ones are connected to the mastery of the weapons. So, oh, is this how? No, this this led back into him. No, oh, secret. No, that's how we get down. 
the fuck were the swords then? We're back inside some some room. I will find your room. Almost over here. Yeah, nice. I know usually I, I move over and play other stuff. But uh, I really, I've been dying to get into this since the moment I started this. Get back into it, you know. But I had other things on my mind that I wanted to get through. Let's hope the other bosses are working okay. I know what happened there. I don't know if it was me, it was the AI, I don't know. There's only two Bones intact, check. No blood, check. There's only two ways Common of sense. bosses to go yeah. when it's me. And one way is they're bollocks hired and I I'm cursing and blinding, giving out bloody murder. And then I eventually win. Or they're like that, where they're broken beyond belief and I just walk through and walk in and walk out. Like, most recent Souls like I've played, you know, I did Fallen Order, but most recent new one was Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. And I walked through that game. I think I had about two bosses that gave me any semblance of difficulty. But. I believe we are soon there. The place where the general sleeps. Oh. Dirty bastard. I walked, yeah, I walked through that game. Uh, fear would probably be the more appropriate reaction, but I value and salute your calmness. I have to say though, I don't share it. I don't. Why don't you share it? As a small wolf like me should be. Yes. Yeah, there's there's a couple of bugs like they shouldn't be having this conversation. Here's where the sword was. Check this bad bastard out. Look at that. Always a pleasure. Yeah, there's just no need for to have that conversation because we killed the boss already. So let's hope I haven't broke the game. Can I get up there? Get the lock on. Here they come. Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me, dude. I'm fucking doing something. Fuck off. Thank you. Numb nuts. Give me that sword. Look at this thing. The lightning. The yeah, lightning. I think I can replicate this, but smaller. How? How do I do it? Hey, I'm not that small. Oh, so you could wield this. No. This. So there it is. Oh, god, that one's actually there. And there's the Crescent Twins. I swear they didn't show up before. Only craftsable at Arcane Forge. This is the problem. And then Human Smithy. I don't know what an Arcane Forge is. Yo, the Lightning Blade, though. Oh, I actually need more Intium. I thought I had more of that. I didn't use it on anything else. I have 19 collected out of 25. That looks like you could break the game. Oh, the damage is actually shitty with it. But I'm thinking, because of its name, Lightning Blade, it could have probably called it something better. Maybe it has lightning effects. And then the Crescent Twins. They look like my cup of tea. Allows the, for swift teleports to save the wielder from danger? Does that mean what I think it means? Your dodge becomes like a teleport? Nice. These seem like special weapons, look. Because they're, they're given like special areas in your, uh, in your skill tree. See? All up, all up in chair. That's kind of cool. Now at least we can go back where we started. You will regret entering our land. You're silly. Yeah, it's probably time I switch up the butcher knife as my main anyway. Can't help it, it's so fast and strong. I really like the mastery. I'm trying to think what other game specialized in weapon mastery. I know there's been a lot, but that distinctly unlocked skills with it, you know? I don't think there's any. Just look at that distance. Oh, fuck. See, that's what I'm worried about. Look at that distance. Let's reactivate that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, yeah, even. Like, I've been told it's like 25 hours long, right? But. To try and do like how long you to beat, or you know to see a, 
a full playthrough. Some channels will just do a fucking one video full playthrough. Have you seen this? 13 hour videos on YouTube. And what I'll do with those is I'll, I'll look at that and gauge it and then add about four or five hours onto it for me. Which is, and it actually is pretty solidly close. Because I tend to get lost a little bit, uh, just be chatting and walking around in circles. Or leave the game on pause when I end stream, which I usually do. It's what I do. It's down here. What's making that noise? Creepy. Looks like he wants me to go a little bit back at the start of the game. Oh, no, I think that's a good place to leave it. I was hoping for a little bit of a harder boss, but that's okay. I think he had a little bit of trouble, God bless him.